I think looking at the breakthrough here um, with the Aparam Accord, you know, you realize how you know, with bold decision making, you can really make big changes. We have the, also a challenge to bring about enduring peace um, and a complete denuclearization on the North Korean on, on the Korean Peninsula with North Korea. Uh, we have pursued this goal for the past three and a half years. Things are uh, stuck at this point because North Korea has ceased engagement with us or the United States for oh, oh, well over a year now. And with COVID-19 this year, it has m meant even more uh, le uh, North Korea less willing to engage. I, they're very busy dealing with this health uh, challenge. Um, but the fact is that uh, in 2018, the top leaders of South Korea, North Korea, and the United States um, committed to these goals very publicly. But I think with the change of administration in the United States, and we're preparing to work very closely with the new US administration to strategize about how we can bring North Korea back to the table for dialogue and negotiations. And at some point, North Korea will come to the dialogue table. Diplomacy is about building relations uh, from difficult situations. And so this accord, uh, which is a breakthrough um, from decades of tension and animosity, and from there to move towards normalized relations with Israel is a diplomatic breakthrough. So I, I have to, uh, I have to certainly applaud the foreign minister and and the crown prince for that decision for UAE and the Bahrain uh, authorities as well. So, I mean, that it, and it can only help uh, strengthen stability and 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 peace in this region. And this being a very important region for us, uh, very important economic partners, a very important source of our energy needs. Um, and so for this important partner to be moving towards strengthened uh, uh, stability and peace is, is, can be only good news. We certainly hope that this creates a further positive momentum to resolve the long-standing conflict between Israel and Palestine. Palestine towards uh, an independent Palestine state based upon the two-state model. Uh, and we very much hope that this change uh, creates the positive dynamics toward that end.